Okay, in this video we're going to look at a solution to problem B1 from the 2013 Putnam. So let's look at the statement. We want to define these numbers Cn by the following recursion. So we have C of 1 equals 1, C of 2n equals Cn, and then C of 2n plus 1 equals minus 1 to the nth power times cn. And then our goal is to find the following sum. So we have the sum from n equals 1 to 2013 of cn times cn plus 2. So the first thing that we want to do is explore a little bit. So let's make a chart. So let's make a chart of values of n, of cn, of cn plus 2, um, and then their product, cn times cn plus 2. I think this will give us a good idea of <clears throat> what's going on and how to attack the next step of this problem. So let's see, if n equals 1, then that means cn equals 1. But now cn plus 2 is c3, which can be written as 2 times 1 plus 1. So that's going to be minus 1 to the 1 times C1 by this part of the recursion right here. So this is going to be negative 1. Good. Now let's look at N equals 2. So we have C of 2 is going to be C of 1. So this is 1. Good. And then next we have C of 4, but again by the same thing, C of 4 is going to be C of 2, which we've already decided that is 1. Great. Now let's work these products out. So this product is negative 1, this product is positive 1. Now let's go to 3. So notice uh, we already know that C of 3 is negative 1 from this part right here. And now we need C of 5. So notice C of 5 we can get from this equation right here with n equals 2. So that means C of 5 will be negative 1 to the 2 times C of 2. But now notice C of 2 was 1. So that means we get this. So negative 1 times 1, so that is negative 1. So let's do a couple more. So let's do 4. So we already know C of 4 is 1. And then we need C of 6, so that's going to be the same thing as C of 3. So now notice C of 3 is negative 1. So we get a negative 1 right there. Okay, so now let's look at uh, C of 5. And so C of 5, we've already calculated that right here. It is uh, 1, and now we need C of 7. So that's what we get if we plug 3 into this equation. So it'll be negative 1 to the 3, C of 3. So that's negative 1 times another negative 1. So that's positive 1. So that gives us positive 1. And then as a reminder, this product is negative 1. And then... <clears throat> so on and so forth. So I'll let you look at the uh, next couple as practice, but what you'll see is that all of these pair together to add to zero. So each consecutive pair after you're at one pairs together to add to zero. And that's gonna give us some motivation. So the motivation we take from that is that this sum, we will take its first term out and after we've taken its first term out, it has an even number of terms, and we can split that even number of terms, 2013, sorry, 2012 terms, we'll split those into half and half, half which comes from even values of the n and half that come from odd values of n, and we'll see that that will bring up our cancellation, which we've noticed here. Okay, good. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll see that rigorously. Okay, so now motivated from what we saw on the last board, we're going to take this goal sum, which is the sum from n equals 1 to 2013 of cn times cn plus 2. We're going to take out the very, very first term. So that's going to be c1 times c3. And recall that number was negative 1. We've already seen that. And then plus the sum n equals 2 to 2012 over all of just the even numbers. And then we're just going to write this as cn, cn plus 2. So we'll write that slightly differently in a second. And now we have this is 
plus the sum n equals 3 to 2013 over all of the odd numbers of cn, cn plus 2. Okay, so now that we have that set up, we're going to take these two sums and re-index them a little bit. So since here we're going over all the even numbers, what we'll do is we'll take n and send it to 2n. Okay, great. And then since over here we're going over the, all, all the odd numbers, we'll take n and send it to n plus, sorry, 2n plus 1. And then we can have the same indices in each one. So let's see how that works. So that's going to give us C1, C3, which we've already seen that's negative 1, plus the sum n equals a 1 to 1,006 now after the re-indexing of C2n, C2n uh, plus 1. Really, it's uh, 2n plus 2, but we can factor that 2 out. Good. And then um, next, we have this is going to be the sum n equals 2 to 1,006 again. And now we have uh, c of 2n plus 1, c of 2n plus 3. Okay, fantastic. But now what we can do is rewrite each of those sums using this defining recursion. So let's see what we get for that. So we have C1, C3, plus the sum n equals 1 to 1,006 of Cn, Cn plus 1, using this even part of the defining recursion. And now we have plus the sum n equals 1 to 1,006. Uh, sorry, that should be 2 to 1,006, and this one should as well. Okay, great. And then um, here we can replace c of 2n plus 1 with negative 1 to the n c of n. So here we have negative 1 to the n, and then c of n, and then we can take the c of 2n plus 3 and use this recursion again to write that as negative 1 to the n plus 1, c of n plus 1. Okay, great. But now it's super easy to see that these two numbers together, negative 1 to the n and negative 1 to the n plus 1, those guys are going to multiply together to give us a negative 1, which we can bring out like that. But now... We see that these two sums at the end are equal to each other, so these entire sums can cancel, which means our answer in the end is just C1, C3, which was negative 1, as we saw in the chart on the previous board. Okay, so good. That's the end of this solution.